So prospective buyers all across the country are kicking themselves for not buying a house last year. Well, I promise that next year when interest rates have gone up, they're going to be kicking themselves all over again. I'm Matt Stone Sr. and welcome to my channel once again. So every Thursday, Freddie Mac releases the results of their primary mortgage market survey, which reveals the most recent movement in the 30-year fixed mortgage rate. Last week, the rate was announced at 3.01%. It was the first time in about three months that the mortgage rate went above 3%. And in a press release accompanying the survey, the chief economist at Freddie Mac said that mortgage rates rose across all loan types this week as the 10-year U.S. Treasury yield reached its highest point since June. So the reason he mentions the 10-year U.S. Treasury yield is because there's been a very strong relationship between the Treasury yield and the 30-year mortgage rate over the last 50 years or so. And this relationship has also been consistent throughout all of 2021. The most recent jump in mortgage rates was preceded by a jump in the 10-year Treasury rate. So what impacts the yield rate? Well, there's a number of economic factors that impact the Treasury yields, such as interest rates, inflation, and economic growth. And since there are current concerns about inflation and economic growth in the country due to the pandemic, the Treasury yield spiked last week, and that spike impacted the mortgage rates. So what does this mean to you? Well, I'm expecting mortgage rates to continue to go up modestly. This will most likely affect home prices and help cool the market, even if it's just a little bit. I'm still expecting home prices to rise, but hopefully not as sharp as we've seen over the past 18 months. Keeping that in mind, though, this jump in interest rates could cause a little bit of a frenzy like we saw last spring, where buyers were motivated, if not desperate, to get into a home uh, before rates go even higher. A lot of experts think the rate could hit about 3.5% by mid-2022 and closer to 4% by the end of next year. Well, we'll see. So what's the takeaway? Well, first, forecasting mortgage rates is very, very difficult. Any expert that I've talked to will tell you that you should never hang your reputation on forecasting interest rates and more specifically on mortgage rates because you'll invariably be wrong. Now, that being said, if you're either a first-time home buyer or a current home owner who's thinking of moving into a home that's better fits your needs and you know your commute and things like that, well, you should be keeping an eye on what's happening with mortgage rates. That way you can make the best decision financially when the time is right. Another option is to reach out to me personally Showing houses every day and putting in offers regularly allows me to have a pretty good finger on the pulse of the market, especially our local market. And with this info, I can give you the most current market conditions weeks before you're going to hear about it online or read about it in the news. So again, hopefully this information was helpful to you. And until next time, happy house hunting.